So we're going to watch Westworld from HBO. It's getting a lot of hype. This is episode one. Uh, they spent a lot of money on this show, and I've heard that they've already sort of gotten five seasons written down. The trailers looked amazing. It's based on an old, I think, 70s movie. I saw it on TV long ago, so let's check it out. It's a cool intro. First, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. So basically, what it is, it's a big amusement park and all the people in it are androids, robots. And then people come and visit, like sort of like come to like Disneyland, but they come here and they relive, they live out their fantasy, like in the Wild West and in the old one, there was also Roman times and they had, there's different time periods that you could go and visit. Don't mind me. I came back. I told you I would. So he's falling in love with a robot. <laughs> Necrophilia? Well, it's not because it's a robot. Is that any way to treat an old friend? I've been coming here for 30 years, and you still don't remember me, do you? Seems you're not the man you thought you were. Is that Harris Yul Brenner's character from the original movie? What? Hold on here. Wait, wait. I gotta rewind this. Because I swear to God he said I didn't pay all this money. So, is he a visitor? Oh, so he's a visitor. I thought he was a robot. But he must be a, an actual person. Will the things I told you change the way you think about the newcomers to Lawrence? Okay. Oh, my God, he's so he's perfect. oh, fuck, he's. Oh, shit, he's a robot. He was a visitor. Okay. Wow. You fooled me on that one. The memories are purged at the end of every narrative. But they're still in there, waiting to be overwritten. He found a way to access them, like, uh, like a subconscious. Both of you know. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins. I love him. Yeah, He's an amazing way way actor. Watch you. Not as sweet as you. I'm afraid I've got other plans tonight, Double Rush. Have a pleasant evening. It's sort of still fucking, it's creepy. This is a good way to, like, find out who's evil in society. You put them in a situation like this, and if they want to go around killing people, you know, like, hey, we should actually keep an eye on him in the real world. His core code is intact, which means he can't hurt a guest. He literally couldn't hurt a fly. They're beautiful, aren't they? You're one of them, aren't you? You're not real. I wonder if she's going to be the one who first, like, 
gains consci consciousness. This, it's the father that's gonna f start to figure it out and then start glitching. Uh, Tony Stark's pad. <laughs> Wonder how much it does cost to go to it. A sound garden. That's hilarious. How do the visitors know other visitors? What if you were a visitor and you thought you were killing a robot, but it was another visitor? Huh? Wonder if they'll uh, tell us how that works. We got two guests inside. We'll go talk to them. You sort this mess out. No, this is fucking crazy. They're supposed to turn on each other, but only if the guest takes them on the High Sierra storyline, and Walter always buys it. Well, I guess Walter got tired of buying it. Fuck, I'm, I'm enjoying this show. So original, so interesting. You haven't yet isolated the bug. I saw him like it, my not. And this is only episode one. And that's okay. But of course, we've managed to slip evolution's leash now, haven't we? We can cure any disease, keep even the weakest of us alive, and go on a fine day, perhaps we've actually even resurrect the dead. Call forth Lazarus. From this cave. Wonder how far into the future this takes place. Do you know what that means? It means that we are done. That this is as good as we're gonna get. But for now, you're mine, man. I'm gonna get some answers out of you. Fuck, Ed Harris's character is a fucking nut job. Like, is this a host? This guy with his neck slit? <laughs> you know, they say just come here, get the rocks off, shoot a couple Indians. There's a deeper level to this game. You can show me how to get there. A lot of wisdom in ancient culture. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Guys in the cloaks. <laughs> oh, is this supposed to be the big murder that so they can get the 200 ones out? With considerable effort and lack of sleep, I've managed to massage the lens to inspire Hector to head to town a week early. Stones this song, isn't it? Painted black.
shit, it's that guy who was on the, uh, holy shit, it was a visitor. <laughs> Bartender, was it? No? Yes. To believe there is an order to our days. It's like live, die, repeat. It's weird. A purpose. It's on the skull there. What is it? Sure, a living thing. Is the fly real, or is it a host also? Okay, I'm hooked. That was such a good first episode. Wow, wow, was that good? Okay, HBO. I think you might have another winner on your hands. Uh, did you guys like it? I thought that was amazing. This has got so many twists and turns and makes you think. Holy shit, was that good. Can't wait till next Sunday. Alright, take care guys.